Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I absolutely love Toyota 4Runners. In fact, I've owned several of them in different configurations, and currently I own a Toyota 4Runner Limited in magnetic gray, which is behind me. It's a go-anywhere, rugged SUV with a proven chassis and powertrain, still built in Japan at the Tahara factory, and it's by far one of the best body-on-frame SUVs out there. In fact, there aren't that many uh, body-on-frame SUVs anymore in this price range, and you even get third-row seat in this 4Runner. So it's an amazing vehicle, but with a lot of changes coming up because there is a new version, the sixth-generation 4Runner, coming up likely next year as a 2024 model year. And there's a lot that I can talk about, but one of the most important things and perhaps the most controversial topic is the powertrain or the engine of the new 4Runner. Right now we have the proven 4-liter V6 engine in the 4Runner, but looks like it's going to be changing over to the 2.4-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine when the new model comes out. Now the only car or only vehicle that is currently using that turbocharged engine is the new 2022 Lexus NX. So I decided to take out the 2.4-liter turbocharged Lexus NX for a drive to see if that engine truly makes sense for the upcoming 4Runner. Now I have driven the NX with the Turbo 4 a number of times, but I just want to drive it one more time to refresh my memory in terms of how that engine feels, how it performs on the road, and whether or not that engine is suitable for the type of driving that we might do with the 4Runner, which could be very different from NX, mainly because people do take out the 4Runner for off-roading and a variety of different kind of conditions under which maybe NX won't go through. So let me take you to the 2022 Lexus NX with a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine and give you my impression of the engine and whether or not I think this engine might be a good fit and a good alignment for the upcoming 2024 Toyota 4Runner. So here we have the current version of the Toyota 4Runner, which has the proven and reliable 4-liter V6 engine. This one has 270 horsepower, uh, made it to a 5-speed automatic transmission. So it is uh, very ancient in terms of design and engineering, but over the years, uh, of course, this engine has proven to be one of the most reliable in the world. So we love this engine for that reason, but it does not have enough power and torque to compete with the modern SUVs out there. Uh, mainly because of the transmission and also the fact that the torque curve in this engine is not all that ideal. And so you feel like you have to step on the gas quite a bit to get this thing up and running. So let's step away from this Toyota 4Runner that I own and step into the 2022 Lexus NX, which has the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. What I want to do today is very interesting because I want to share with you my driving experience driving the NX with the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine to figure out whether or not this engine indeed makes sense in the new 2024 Forerunner, which should come out sometime next year, maybe summertime, maybe the fall of 2020 three calendar year and we are pretty sure that Toyota will let go of the V6 engine, the proven 4 liter V6 engine and its place will have a 2.4 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine. Uh, as well maybe later on they should introduce the hybrid version of that engine which is a 2.4 liter turbo in combination with the hybrid system. Now that system has not been introduced to any vehicle right now from Toyota or Lexus so no one knows for sure exactly what's going to happen but that is my suspicion that is my prediction. Now everything I talk about in this video is my personal and professional opinion and has nothing to do with Toyota or Lexus it's not their official stance on this uh, matter but uh, I want to share with you as an automotive engineer what I really think. So based on my experience driving the Lexus NX around the engine is powerful, it's smooth, it's refined, it's got a lot of get up and go and so there is no issue in terms of an actual power delivery or torque delivery. In fact because it's a turbocharged engine even though it's a four cylinder engine when you step on the gas you get a fair amount of torque early in the torque curve. 
So even at lower RPM, you get maximum torque and uh, a really good power delivery so that when you step on the gas, it takes off with a lots of energy and passion and then the, you know the torque stays very flat all the way through so those are all the advantages of a four cylinder turbocharged engine not to mention the fact that it's going to have a lot better fuel efficiency and fuel economy compared to the outdated four liter v6 engine in the current forerunner now what about the actual feeling of the engine in the car well, if you love or if you're used to driving um, small displacement turbocharged engine, which you will find in many European and other Asian products, then you'll likely really enjoy driving the 4Runner with the new 2.4 because of this kind of immediate feeling. You step on the gas, there is a power and torque delivery right away. There's no hesitation. There's no more turbo lags these days. And it's just peppy and it's actually quite fun to drive. But what you end up giving up when you take a four-cylinder turbocharged engine instead of a V6 is a sense of uh, serenity and a sense of uh, a truck feel that you do get with a four-liter V6 engine. In fact, the way that the four-liter V6 engine feels on the current 4Runner is quite different than the way, let's say, a 3.5-liter uh, six-cylinder feels on a Tacoma, for example. I've owned both. And on the uh, 4Runner, for some reason, they've tuned it and calibrated it to give that loud growl when you start the engine and when you are driving low speed. It has a kind of truck feel, of course, but also the engine sound is quite beautiful to my ears anyway because almost sound like a small V8 engine. So you won't get that low-end growl sound. That will definitely not be the case with the turbocharged four-cylinder engine which will likely be in the new 4Runner in addition to a hybrid system. So you are constantly reminded you're definitely driving a turbocharged 4 and not anything else. And so if you're not used to driving a truck or SUV with a turbo 4, you might not like this feel. Once again, we don't know for sure how this is going to pan out because no one knows for sure exactly what engine is going to be in the 4Runner. Uh, but my assumption is that it will have the turbocharged 4 and not everyone will be happy about it because the feeling is going to change quite a bit. Having said all that, time is moving on and Toyota is moving on to 4-cylinder and 6-cylinder engines and there's nothing that we can do to turn the clock back. So uh, the 4Runner uh, will get the 4-cylinder turbo, the Lexus GX will likely get uh, twin-turbo V6 and as you already know, Tanjiro and Sequoia have moved to a V6 engine. So that trend is going to continue and uh, nothing's going to stop that from happening. So you have to accept the fact that uh, the 4Runner it has to move to a new platform. But once again, there are a lot of advantages of a smaller displacement turbocharged engine because you should get substantially better fuel efficiency and, and fuel economy maybe as much as 20 to 30 percent, as well as the fact that they will likely offer the hybrid system with a four-cylinder turbo, and that should give you plenty of power and torque, way more than what we get right now in the 4Runner, uh, without compromising fuel efficiency. So that combination will be the right combination for the future because all of us are looking for more fuel efficiency, using up less gas, but we don't want to sacrifice uh, comfort or smoothness, and we definitely don't want to give up on power and torque. And so I suspect the 4Runner with a hybrid system will have tremendous power and torque and it could be quite a fun vehicle to drive. Uh, of course, we'll have to wait a while to find this out, perhaps a year or maybe even longer than a year uh, because we don't know exactly what's going to happen in terms of the timing of the 4Runner. But I really look forward to that time when I finally get to drive one because yes, I do have a deposit on a 2024 4Runner. So for now, I wanted to give you a quick insight about what I feel about the four-cylinder turbocharged engine on the 4Runner and how it feels at least in the Lexus NX. Of course, this is not a large SUV and therefore it's going to feel different in a 4Runner and they're going to, I'm sure, calibrate and tune differently for 4Runner as well. Uh, so everything I'm feeling right now in the current Lexus NX might not translate directly to the feeling of the engine in the new 4Runner, but we will soon find out. So that's it for now. A lot more coming your way about the new 4Runner and everything else to do with Toyota and Lexus. I'm signing off for now. If you can give me a thumbs up, make some comments and subscribe, that'll be really appreciated. I'll catch you very soon.